So I recently celebrated seven years of being vegan. My seven year anniversary, or vegiversary, vegiversary. So in today's video, I wanted to reflect on all the changes that being vegan has brought into my life. So let's count them down. My health has significantly improved. So first of all, my digestive issues cleared up. I'd been dealing with digestive stuff all my life, being in doctors, taking medications, and within a couple weeks of being vegan, no more dairy, all that went away. And also my skin cleared up. So instead of having to deal with so many breakouts and like acne, no more of that. And I think that was tied into the dairy as well. And of course now I have a lot more energy too. Okay, number two, I eat way more variety of foods now. Now I like so many of the foods that I didn't think I would ever like, like Brussels sprouts, spaghetti squash, beets. And now I'm eating so many foods and spices that I didn't even know existed before. Dulse, uh, kimchi, tahini, za'atar, pomegranate molasses, gochujang, tempeh, arugula. <laughs> It's just so much more inspiring and exciting to cook now. I feel like because I have power over what I eat, I start to realize that there are so many more things that I could be eating. And so that's why I've become such an adventurous eater. I finally found purpose and meaning in my life. Once I became vegan and I realized how important it is to be vegan for animals, for the environment, and for your health, that really inspired me to wanna to help other people do the same thing and also to discover the same passion that I have now. So ever since then, I've been doing this as my job. I used to be a private chef in New York and now I'm doing this sweet potato soul full time. When I need motivation, I think about how the more people who are vegan, the fewer animals will be born just to be killed. Even my family started eating fewer animal products. My parents and my grandmother have all given up chicken. And now, even my dad is vegan. Vegan food is very tasty. Yeah. They don't realize it. Yeah. But they have to try it. Yeah. And I think that happened not because I was telling them every day, you guys need to be vegan, what you're doing is wrong, but because I was being a very good example. I was living my vegan life. I was making our family recipes vegan and giving them to them. And my health was improving. I was telling them about new studies I'd heard about, about animal welfare without making them feel like what they're doing is a bad thing. So just naturally, they started coming more onto the vegan side of things. I want my family to be around as long as possible. So it's super, Exciting to see that they're changing their lifestyle habits as well. I started looking at the whole world differently and expanding my circle of compassion. For example, now I think more about how other humans are exploited as well. Like I don't buy fast fashion anymore. I also think about farming and manufacturing practices and the people who are exploited. Becoming an ethical vegan has definitely been a gateway for me into other ethical ways of living. So now I don't just care about animals, I love animals, but I also care a lot more about where does my other types of food come from, like my vegetables, where is my clothing coming from, and how that affects other animals, whether they be human or not human, and how it affects the environment. Because I had to start reading labels, it helps me start thinking more about what's in the stuff that I buy. So first, I cleaned up my skincare products. Of course, because I'm vegan, I'm not gonna use skincare products that contain animal products. And so I had to get rid of some things that had hidden animal byproducts like Dove soap and certain makeups and even the beauty brushes and my hair brushes that were made from animal fur. I also started moving away from using toxic chemicals in my home and on my skin. So now I make all of my own home cleaning products. It's super, super easy to do and incredibly cheap. And I even use a lot of kitchen items on my skin and on my body. It's a lot easier that way too. It made me realize that sometimes doing the alternative thing is the best thing for you. So becoming vegan when I became vegan was definitely alternative. And luckily I knew other people in my life who were vegan, so that made it easier. However, most of the people who I was around and my family, they were not vegan. But it was such an amazing decision that now I realize that 
Sometimes going against the grain, doing the alternative thing is really necessary and it's not that hard and people around you will still accept you and love you. And also when you do the thing that's the alternative, you can help inspire other people to do the same. My life went on as normal basically. Although like I said, so much in my life has changed since I became vegan, still a lot of the things stayed the same. I still have my same friends. I didn't have to go out and get all new vegan friends and say goodbye to my non-vegan friends. My family still loves me and like I said, they're becoming more plant-based. And I still get to eat a lot of my favorite foods. I mean, I just wrote a book about all vegan soul food, veganizing all my favorite foods that I've been loving since I was a kid. I'm still fundamentally the same person, but now I'm becoming a better version of myself. I stopped seeing animal products as food. Before I became vegan, I don't think I would have predicted that, but it's true. Now, animal products repulse me. I don't crave them. I never had an issue with craving and wishing I could eat animal products anymore because now I realize all that goes into getting that animal product to my plate. So I don't see them as food. So I'd love to hear from you guys, especially the other vegans out there, what has changed in your life since you became vegan? And if you're on the fence about becoming vegan, maybe you have questions, you're not sure if this is the right path for you, make sure you check out my Vegan 101 playlist and also check out a recent video I did with my best friend about how to stop making excuses and finally go vegan. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comment section below as well. I'll make sure to try to get to you and I'm sure the Sweet Potato Soul community will be happy to answer your questions as well and encourage you to finally become vegan. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video and leave a thumbs up on this video. And I'll see you guys next time, bye.